Sean, congratulations, Halifax have made it to the top four, just uh, give us your reaction. Just over the moon, uh, first year, obviously played for the club, first team level, uh, it's, it's everything we could have hoped for. Uh, fair play to Rochdale, they, they made it hard work for us, but I felt like, uh, I didn't feel at all like we were like not composed in that, I felt we were completely composed throughout the entire thing. Uh, I felt like we knew we knew what we'd have to do, we stuck to our game plan and we come away with the result we wanted. And those three tries, you know, at the start of the game sort of seemed pretty crucial, didn't it, in getting the victory? Yeah, one of our uh, one of our targets in the first 20 minutes was to was to kind of go three tries ahead, and uh, it was nice to hit that kind of target right before uh, right before the 20 minutes was up. Uh, just because that try they scored just on the other side of half time, we kind of it wasn't kind of panic stations if you get what I mean uh, with regards to we didn't have to panic because we were we knew we had those three tries in the bag from earlier on in the game. Mm. It seemed quite a comfortable win obviously despite the circumstances and you know the tension and nerves that sort of thing did you feel that on the pitch? Uh, it wasn't so much we didn't feel it on the pitch I think, feel like if you walked around the change rooms beforehand I think there were a lot of players doing stuff that were kind of outside of their normal what they normally do kind of just sitting around thinking about the game, all the boys were saying about our nerves before the game and stuff like that and it wasn't a case of we're nervous about the game, we're nervous about the result if it kind of went a bit wrong um, but I felt like during the game we were fine, yeah. I felt like the nerves kind of went away, our halfbacks guided us quite well. So. And on a personal note, obviously your first game in quite a while, you were, must have enjoyed being out there again. Yeah, it was, it was just good being out, back out there with the boys, obviously a bit rusty but uh, yeah, I felt like uh, Two reserve games kind of did me a little bit of good, and uh, yeah, first time back out back out there in a while, and yeah, it's just nice to kind of blow the cobwebs off and uh, play a part in getting us to top four. Mm. So. And obviously, just looking to continue playing as many games as you can from now until the end of the yeah, season. Yeah, yeah, just looking. I think uh, obviously from my last game, which was Dewsbury, I think uh, made a few mistakes that week and got left out for a while, and uh, I felt like. Uh, just kind of a solid starting point. Hopefully, we, hopefully, I can build on this in the next kind of seven games we've got in the middle eights. Do you think that will obviously benefit you as a player? Obviously, I know you want to play as many games as you can, but having that sort of break out of the team. Uh, yeah, active. yeah, definitely. I felt like, um, obviously, first year, first year in the league, like you don't expect the type of contact that um, that you may be expecting, like reserve grade or champ one level. And I felt like after the first, after those string of games that I played, I was a bit, I found myself after Dewsbury a bit beat up. So I felt like that kind of break, although I was desperate to play the entire time, it kind of did me a bit more, a bit more good than harm. Mm. Fantastic achievement for the club to get into the top four, obviously considering the financials and a bit of part-time team and that sort of thing. Just put into words how big an achievement this is if you can. You can't, you can't really put into words like the amount of work that the boys put in on and off the field. To achieve that is is tremendous. Like there's boys that are rocking up to training, still still in their work clothes and putting in a job every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and then we're turning up on the weekend. Uh, I mean, obviously full team full time teams have the luxury of getting their players in all the time, and uh, like to to get that as a part time team is fantastic. Mm. I feel like uh, ooh, ooh, top four now is it? Uh, Toronto, London, Toulouse. So yeah, we'll yeah. be we'll be the only part time team in the top four. Mm. So I feel like that's a that's a <laughs> massive achievement in and out of itself, especially when you consider Fev and Lee have missed out. Mm. And Richards talks a lot about team spirit, something that other players have mentioned as well. Obviously, your first year at the club, have you found that as a common thing? Oh, you can tell. You can tell they're a, they're a tight knit bunch of bunch of lads, all kind of cracking on, getting to know each other, like all, all know each other right well. Uh, they're all mates on and off the field. I don't think we've had any major kind of issues with anyone. Uh, everyone's everyone. We just enjoy each other's company. I think. I think uh, when it comes to stuff like that, I think we're probably one of the best teams in the league uh, for for that sort of stuff. Cheers, Sean. No worries. Cheers, Sean. Okay. No worries.